What's up guys, welcome back. In this video, I just wanna follow up with some of the previous fluid dynamics videos that we've been doing that deal with pressure at depth. And specifically this formula right here where you have one pressure is equal to the other pressure plus or minus rho GH. So the density times acceleration due to gravity times the height difference. I think it's worth making a video just talking about the units of this equation because this first term is uh, pressure in units of pascals. This is pressure and then this is three different things multiplied to each other which we always just we put here we have kilograms per meter cubed, meters per second squared, and meters and then that always works out to pascals but there has probably been a time when you looked at this and you couldn't remember if maybe you should be using density or or something else um, maybe specific weight or whatever uh, and then you're not entirely sure what you should be getting uh, in, in units here. But essentially, we have units of pascals plus units of pascals equals another thing that's in units of pascals. But I just want to show you how to work through to trace to know exactly that your units are on point and that you're doing this correctly. So let's just rewrite it in the center. So we had the pressure. The new pressure is in units of pascals. This P0 uh, is our reference pressure from some other point in the fluid that we know. This is also in units of pascals. Uh, rho here, this is the density in kilograms per cubic meter. G here is acceleration due to gravity, which is meters per second squared. And H here is the difference in fluid column, or the height difference, and that is in meters. And pascals, don't forget, is uh, the same thing as newtons per meter squared. And don't forget that newtons is another thing here. It's kilogram meter per second squared. So there's a whole lot of units going on in here. Uh, the same thing is going on over on the side as well. And we say that all of these terms have the same units, and I just want to show you that they actually do. So uh, looking, if we rearrange this formula, or just kind of rewrite it with a units only, uh, let's say that we have newtons per meter squared. That's the units of the first term here, pressure on the left-hand side. And then on the right-hand side, we also have newtons per meter squared, because that's in pascals. And then we had the plus or minus the last term, and in here, let's just multiply all of the units together. So we have kilograms per meters cubed times meters per second squared times meters. Okay, let's consolidate that a little bit. So we have kilogram meters squared over meters cubed times second squared or per second squared. All right, let's keep going with this. Let's just leave the left-hand side the same. That was newtons per meter squared. Uh, let's actually sub in what we had for newtons, which was kilogram. You know what, we can do that on both sides, actually. Um, kilogram meters per second squared. And again, I'll write it here, kilogram meters per second squared over meter squared plus or minus, and then this here, just those meters will cancel out, so we'll have kilogram per meter second squared. Let's just clean this up in place. We can bring the second squared down into the denominator on both sides, and then we can actually cancel out one of those meters with the exponent on the bottom, and that's just going to leave us with kilograms over meters per second squared, and kilograms over meters second squared, just like that. So when we look at this, now each of the terms is actually exactly in the same units, but these units don't look familiar because these aren't the units of newtons, which is kilogram meter per second squared. This is something like slightly different, which is a kilogram per meter second squared, which is almost right, but just looks wrong to us. Um, the thing that I would recommend doing to make sure that you have this is multiply each one by unity. So you have kilograms, per meter second squared, and just multiply this by m over m, and, and do this for each term. We're essentially just multiplying by one, or unity, so you're allowed to do this. And we can rewrite this as kilograms meters in the numerator over m squared s squared. And that's going to hold true for all of the terms. But we can rewrite this in a different way by just dividing kilogram 
meters per second squared divided by m squared or meters squared put that in a new denominator so let's actually just do that we'll erase this and we're going to bring this down below to meters squared and we're going to do this to each term as we go and we're going to bring out that m squared down into uh, basically a new denominator m2 over m2 and at this point we can look over here and we can see that the expression for newtons was kilogram meters per second squared or the units for newtons is kilogram meters per second squared which is what we have kilogram meters per second squared so we can rewrite each of these as newtons per meter squared and newtons per meter squared is just the units for pascals as well so we can even just rewrite these all in their units as pascals so let's just rewrite these one at a time so newtons per meter squared is pascals and same for the other two. So next time you uh, go through one of these problems and you end up with a unit that's kilograms per meter second squared and you're looking at that and you're like that's not quite a doesn't look like a newton or a pascal turns out that this is actually just a different way to write pascals when you uh, when you just rearrange this a little bit it's essentially the same thing. All right guys see you in the next video.